should be a very good. It is certainly cold outside, football weather. A little warmer than it was last week, but uh, cold outside. But, but now we're nice and uh, warm here. I'm almost too hot in this nice heated press box they got here at Cardinal Red. Great facility. Yeah, we had to suffer through this one. This one, this one is bad. I'll tell you what, November 7th, this grass field looks pretty good. It looks like it's in great shape. Role models are more important than ever in today's society. You can serve as a role model for others the next time you display good sportsmanship at a high school athletic event. Good sports are winners and are also vital to preserving our fine sports traditions. So the next time you attend a sporting event, remember to be a good sport and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. This message brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and KJFF. <laughs> Herculaneum is due to receive it. Receiving it for Herculaneum is number 17, L.J. Nelson, and also number 11, Brandon Smith. L.J. Nelson on the season has one kickoff return for a touchdown and one punt return for a touchdown. He is averaging 25 yards per kickoff return. They are both standing at the 20-yard line. Carter Ritter has it fielded at the 40. Number 67, Benton Bondurant is kicking it. It's a short kick. It will be fielded by the up back. It's bobbled and balls on the toes. And it's, it's, yeah, it's, boy, that was number three, Tristan Byers, who picked it up. And he took a shot. He was trying to pick it up. And so Herculean will start with the ball at their own 30-yard line. So it was really good coverage. They got that kick nice and high in the air. So when the ball did hit the ground, Tristan Byers actually had to turn around and pick it up after a teammate tried to field it. And when he turned around and looked up, there was just a sea of white helmets coming right at him. They will start at their own 30-yard line, first and 10. We'll give you the starting lineups here in just a minute. They will take the quarterback. That will be Timmy Venable. He will take it himself, and he will fall forward, and he won't get much, maybe a couple, a small gain on it. Actually, with Landon Harper on the carry. Offensive line for Herculaneum, Devin Foot, Garrett Cosmo, Jake Labriere, Josh Miles, and Eric Pennington. Quarterback is Timmy Venable. Running backs, Nico Brown is the fullback. Landon Harper, the, the uh, tailback. LJ Nelson, Matt Coffin, and Brandon Smith are the wide receivers. And they do mostly blocking. They don't throw it a lot, Herculaneum. Mostly running. And Landon Harper is an absolute workhorse, and uh, he'll get most of the carries. So, second down and seven for the Black Hats. Venable calling out the signals. He takes the snap. He will hand it off to Harper. And he's got nowhere to go. In fact, he just pushed backwards. And he might have lost yardage on the play. Not a great carry there by Harper. They were ready for that one. It looks like Cardinal Ritter has scouted Herculaneum very well. They have all 11 guys within three yards to the line of scrimmage. They're putting three down linemen and five linebackers. There are single coverage on the outside on the receivers. They are almost daring Herculaneum to try to throw the ball against them. They're loading up against the run. Loss of two on the play, third down and nine for the Black Hats. And this is something that they saw last last week and they've saw, seen the last couple of weeks and they've actually had to throw it because teams are starting to do this on them because there's no surprise. Venable will take the snap he'll run it to himself. Looked like he was riding the option and he gets hit and dropped immediately. Nowhere to go and I think Herculane is probably going to quickly realize that they're going to have to open up the passing game a little bit because that is a quick, quick three and out. That was a obvious draw play where it was quarterback read the whole way to slap the ball to him. He puts it up underneath his arm. He's looking for a lead block from Harper and Brown. Carter Ritter did a good job of getting up and clogging up that entire left side line. Absolutely no place to go. So Herculean will punt it away. It will be a low one. It is fielded right at the 45 by number two, Eric Bryce. He takes it to the right side. And he is brought down at the 40-yard line of Herculean. A good return for Carter Ritter and very good starting field position for the Lions. Yeah, this is exactly, if you're going to start out with the other team at the ball, three and out is the way you want to go. You pick up a short punt on a line and drive, a good return, excellent field position to start with. Herculean is going to have to do better than that if they want to keep Cardinal Ritter even close in this game. You can't let him start from your only 40-yard line to make this field a half a field all night. So Cardinal Ritter will come out on offense, very talented offensive unit. We'll give you their starters after this. There's a handoff around the end, on the end around Wide receiver that came in motion. That was number seven, Jalen McLemore, on the carry. McLemore and Naeem Moore, their main running backs. They've both totaled over 1,000 yards rushing this year. Melvin Higgins, also a wide receiver here. 
Price and Darren Hale, also wide receivers. The quarterback is Terrell West. Offensive line of Jordan Butler, Benton Bondurant, Rolando Merriweather, Calvin Brown, and Reginald Austin. Rolando Merriweather is the son of the head coach of Cardinal Ritter, Rolando Merriweather, at the same name. Second down and three, handoff to the right side. This is Melvin Higgins, and he's got a full post down and a little bit more past the 30-yard line. And Cardinal Ritter moves the ball easily. He got outside. Somebody had a shot at him there in the backfield. I missed the number, but he couldn't get a hold of any more than a shoelace and couldn't bring him down on that one. It took three or four players after about six yards, seven yard gain on that one to try to get him on the ground. Nine twenty one left in the first quarter. No score between Herculaneum and Cardinal Ritter here in the Class Two District Two Championship game. When he moves on to the quarterfinals, they will play either Malden or Carruthersville. First down and ten, Cardinal Ritter with the ball at the Herculaneum twenty five. West is rolling, he's dropping back, he's got nowhere to go, they're chasing him down, he get a block, he throws it, it's caught, but that'll be lost, a loss of a couple of yards for Cardinal Ritter, as it is caught by number seven, Jalen McLemore, and he just had to break off his rod and come back to the quarterback, because West was, I mean, he was nearly sacked 15 yards behind the line. He lost about four on that play. He's doing a good job. His line stayed with their blocks and gave him the time, but he went with a short receiver on that one. He ended up losing five on the play. Herculean had about four guys in pursuit. It looks like Cardinal Ritter's trying to go for the chop block on their passing plays and just lay the Herculean line down right there. That's a loss of five on the play. It'll be second down and 15, 831 to go. Hand off again to the left side, trying to get to the edge. Nowhere to go. That is McLemore. And he finally breaks the tackle and actually picks up a couple. He might have gotten five back to the original line of scrimmage. Boy, he was just almost down, and he broke free and was able to pick up five on the play. That was just good and hard running. Devin Foot had a hold of that, that jersey. He broke through that. It made the second player in miss. And the second player, you want to slow him down so the second player could really put the hit on him. He got out just in time to break through there and picked up the five. Four minutes quickly already into this game. I don't believe the clock has stopped with the exception of the uh, change of possession. Both teams keeping it on the ground. Nothing, nothing to score here early on in the fourth quarter. First quarter, excuse me. Handoff to Naeem Moore right up the middle. And, and nice defense by Herculaneum. They stop him with a good carry for about five yards. They're running a really quick misdirection offense, Cardinal Ritter, and it's unique because they're bringing a man in motion every time, but it's not like a very slow trot like you normally see people in motion. They're coming across the field at full speed. So if they do hand it to the man in motion, he's got a full head of steam coming out of that backfield. This time they went with the misdirection, went right back against the grain, and a good hard run right up the middle between the two tackles for the eight of four. It will be fourth down and five. Cardinal Ritter will go for it at the Herculanean 20-yard line. West, the quarterback, looking around, surveying the defense, sends the man in motion, takes a sack, bobbles it, picks it up. He's going to throw it. It is incomplete. Great defense over there on the far side, broken up by number 11, Brandon Smith, in single coverage, and the receiver got to cut off his route. Smith came back out and ended up there to knock away. The fact that he dropped that ball coming out of the snap, kind of threw the, the timing of that pattern off. That's a quick hit out to the outside on a two-step drop. It threw the timing up. Brandon Smith read the quarterback's eyes very well, recovered well, just to get a hand on that ball at the last second and save six. So the Black Hats will get the ball back, started out their own 20-yard line after a three and out their first time up. Venable in the shotgun, barking out the signals. He takes the snap, we get a whistle, and the play is blown dead. You usually when to play the play dead, it's on the offense, but we've seen it with a don't blow the play dead when it's on the offense. So I don't really know what to think anymore. Yeah, that's great coming out the defense on this one. And it will be offsides on Cardinal Ritter. So five, three yards for the Herculaneum Black Hats. So that's normally a play you see the officials let go if it doesn't have a free run at the quarterback. Well, you're right. We have seen them on the uh, illegal procedures. They just let them go, and then they bring it back. It's a little confusing. So it's first down and five for Herculaneum from their, their own 25. Five. They hand it off to Harper, off left tackle, spins, little spin move, not much. They'll give him forward progress, and he won't get anything. Cardinal Ritter defense looks like this. The defensive line is Richard Baker, Deverad uh, Horton, and Jordan Butler. Linebackers are Donnell Sharp, Melvin Higgins, Naeem Moore, and Colby Taylormore. Secondary is Derek Price, Jalen McLemore, Terrell West, and Darren Hale. Second down and five, no gain on the carry for Landon Harper. Four rushes so far. Eric has only been able to muster about three yards of offense. 
Takes the snap, hands it to Harper off left tackle, and absolutely stuffed in the backfield. Nowhere to go. Harper comes into this game with over 1,500 yards rushing, but the Cardinal Litter defense is just not letting them get any yards in between the tackles. On four plays so far, I'm watching the Cardinal Litter defense, and they're putting three down linemen. They're just lining up either heads up, and then the other linebackers are just shooting the gaps. There's five ups. And so far, that Hercules hasn't had an, off, an answer for that on the offensive line. Three receivers to the right side, one to the left. Harper and Venable are alone in the backfield. Different look here. First time they've changed up the look. This time they hand it to Harper. It's a sweep around the right end, but it is blown dead. And the play, the play is blown dead after whistle. No, you had the illegal procedure, and they did blow it at that time. Somebody moved over on that left side of the line. That time it's going to back them up five and make it about third and 11. So, uh, so another backwards play for Herculaneum as they lose five, and that will bring up a third down and 11 for the Black Cats. Or not, not only are they not able to get anything moving on offense, now they're committed a penalty to move backwards. Yeah, they just traded penalties on this drive here. They'll see what they can do here. It looks like Cardinal Ritter is still lining up. they got a free safety in this time. They send a man in motion. Venable takes the snap, and he will hand it off to Harper. It's kind of the same play call, but not much doing it on the play for Harper. And he gets dropped, and Kirk is going to have to bring out the punt team. They're about fourth and eight left over on that. They're just bottling up Harper, Harper so far. He's got five rushes right now for a total of about four yards. They've done a really good job against the run so far, Cardinal Ritter. They're putting five up in there. They almost should see it coming. They're just they're, they're Herculean to open it up a little bit. There's a step. The punt is back. It's bottled by the punter. He's still able to get away. He'll bounce the 50-yard line. Picked up by Cardinal Ritter, and they will push him backwards. Heads up play by Herculaneum is the Cardinal Ritter punt returner picked up the ball at about the 50-yard line, and Herculaneum was there to swarm. And he's actually going to lose yardage on that play. They'll give him forward progress. I think they'll mark this at about the Cardinal Ritter 45. Looks like they had punt left called on that thing because that's where he, after he bobbled that punt and that ball hit the ground, it's pretty much free reign. He's got to get that thing out of there quick. He did a good job just to get that punt off and get it out of there. Good coverage by three or four of the Herculean Black Cats on that one. So Cardinal Ritter will get the ball with it at their own 44-yard line. They take the snap. They hand it off to the right side. Great road on the right side. This is Naeem Moore on the carry, and I think he picked up the first down. Yeah, it looks like they're going to spot it at about 15 yards for that one on the carry by Moore. Puts him at about 20 on two carries. Three or four Black Cats had a shot at him right there. Could not wrap him up. He just kept those legs turned and drove through three tackles to pick up 15 on that play. No score between Herculaneum and Cardinal Ritter. 437 left in the first quarter. Ritter on offense and into Herculaneum territory at the Black Cat 41. They send a man in motion. They hand it off to a different guy. This is right up the middle. I believe this is Jalen McLemore, and he'll get a couple. Landon Harper hung in there on that one on that misdirection by Cardinal Ritter to hold him to a gain of five. Good run. He pulled Harper for about two extra yards after the initial contact. They have placed the ball at the... 37-yard line to Herculaneum, a gain of four on the play with four minutes left in the first quarter. Same formation again here for Cardinal Ritter, West under center. They send a man in motion. They hand it off. This is Naeem Moore right up the middle and a good touchdown saving tackle by a safety and a huge pickup for Cardinal Ritter on that play, and they've got another first down. Naeem Moore, he busted up the middle, exploded through a small gap on the left side of the offensive line. The safety came up. He saw him coming. The head went down. He got lower, got him right in the knees to bring him down and save six. But another first-time pickup for Cardinal Ritter is they continue to move the ball much better than Herculaneum's had. Herculaneum has had two three and outs. They're on defense with 3.40 left in this first quarter. West under center again. He sends a man in motion. They... Hit off to a running back right up the middle. This is Melvin Higgins. And he won't get much. Maybe a decent spot. I think they gave him two yards on that. 
Kirk Delaney kind of had the answer on that one. They stayed in their lanes that time, and he tried to cut that right back into the big man of Herculaneum, and they were waiting for him that time. Good leg drive to pick up two on the run. Second down and eight for Cardinal Ritter with 3.09 left in this game, right at the 20-yard line. That's under center. They send a man in motion. They hand it off to that man in motion. That's around the outside. Cuts back towards the middle. Flag on the play. That was Jalen McLemore with the carry. We get a flag thrown by the back judge. That would be in the area of holding. And that is what the call is, holding on Carter Ritter. So that will back it up 10 yards from the spot and a race, a very good yard, a very good carry by Jalen McLemore. Very good run. He had great downfield blocking right there. And those flags came in way behind the play. He was long gone when those flags flew in. With 2.57, this is the first time the clock has stopped with the, without with the exception of a change of play. Every play has been on the ground so far. This game has gone quick. Well, two running teams. We've seen two pass attempts so far, uh, both incomplete, good plays by the defense. So far, it's been pounded out football on the ground. So, second and 18 for Cardinal Ritter, backed up to the Herculean 30-yard line. They send a man in motion, they hand it off to him. That's McLemore again on the left end of the round, and he's brought down at the 25, a five-yard pickup for him. Tackle on the play, made by number two, Christian Jackson, on the outside. They went back to the exact same play that they had great success with to that left side where he had actually picked up about 12 and it was out taken away by the holding penalty. Exact same play. Herculean diagnosed him a little better this time and held him to seven after a good, strong run. He comes out of there quick on that on that motion offense. Well, yeah, because he's, I mean, he's in motion and they've got the timing down so that they're handing it right as he's in motion so he didn't have to, he had to slow up. So he's got, you know, seven yards of, of speed as he's, before he even gets the ball. Right at two minutes left in this first quarter. They hand it off. This is, hey, excuse me, this is Naeem Moore right up the middle. Cuts to the right side. He is in. Touchdown, Naeem Moore. A 25-yard carry and touchdown for Cardinal Ritter. And the Lions break on top first with a 25-yard run right up the middle. That was a same thing. He came across the middle with about a three-yard head start. They faked to the motion man, hand it to him. He cuts right in between his center and guard at a 45-degree angle and just explodes through a small gap, and he's by the linebackers before they can do anything about it. Uh, one of the safeties had a good shot at him, but a great move by Neymar on that one to get out to the right and get it into the end zone. Cardinal Ritter will go for two. That's, they use their same formation. They send a man in motion. They hand it off to... Right up the middle, this is Hagen's nowhere to go. They push him backwards. Still going, still going. They don't blow the play dead. And he is not going to be, he's going to be held out of the end zone. Two point conversion is no good. Carter Ritter gets on top and they lead it six to nothing. We'll be back in one minute. You're listening to high school football on KJFF. Real service with a real person. You get that and affordable rates from State Farm. Don't trust just anyone to insure your car. Trust good neighbor State Farm agent Matt Woods in Hillsboro. Cut rate car insurance may sound great, but are you really getting the protection and service you need? With State Farm, you get an agent you can depend on and an insurance company you can trust. For real service from a real person, see State Farm agent Matt Woods in Hillsboro or call 636-789-3532. It's fall clearance time at Midwest Sports Center in Farmington. Save on 2014 Polaris Sportsman 400 starting at $51.99. Suzuki King Quads for just $49.99. Or the 2015 Polaris Sportsman 570 for just $59.99. And Can-Am Spider starting at $13,699. It's fall clearance time at Midwest Sports Center, Highway 67, Farmington. On the road, off the road, or on the water, the ultimate outdoor toy store has it. Midwest Sports Center, no bull, just great savings. Six nothing lose for Cardinal Ritter as they break on top. Extra, the two point conversion is no good, but with 154 left in the first quarter, the Lions lead the Herculean Black Hats, and Herculean will field the kickoff at the 20 yard line. It's bobbled again. This is L.J. Nelson, nowhere to go, and he is pushed backwards. And just another another situation, Eric, where Herculean didn't even. Catch the kickoff. Drop the kickoff. Classic example of somebody who's really trying to make something happen for his team. He wanted to get a big head of steam and really get up the field and try to give him some good starting position. Unfortunately, a step ahead of himself. He bobbles the ball, then he just can't get it picked up. Next thing you know, he is buried under about seven seven white helmets. And and Herschel Lanham has a very good special teams, but 
they haven't been able, they've, they've had two poor starting positions here so far. So with 147 left in the first quarter, Herculaneum takes over at their own 20 yard line. Let's see if they change up the play call here. Here's another run right up the middle, but this is a good one. A good pickup by Lennon Harper again right up the middle, and they pick up about eight. Good run there by Lennon Harper. Lennon Harper really had to work in and out through some very small gap. They had to pick up eight yards on that run. That's the Lennon Harper we're used to seeing. Much better blocking that time by the Herculaneum offensive line. They found a gap right there on that right side between their guard and tackle. 80 seconds left in this first quarter, a 6 nothing lead for Cardinal Ritter. Venable in the shotgun, Nico Brown is the up back, Landon Harper the deep man. And three wide receivers out, they'll use that formation about the whole game. Here's Harper again, right at the middle, following Nico Brown through the hole, and he picked up a first down. A nice run by Harper again. And they've figured it out here at least a little bit this drive as they get their first first down of the game on their third possession. Exactly. They got Nico Brown out in front of him a little bit there. That same gap was there again. It's almost an identical play to the first one they ran. This time, Nico got out there in front of him and opened up a little bit more of a scene. They held him to four this time, but Herculean gets their, their first down. First and 10, under a minute to play at, the, at Herculean at their own 33. Harper in the gun, two receivers to the left this time. Harper and Brown standing to Venable's left. They hand it off to Harper right up the middle, and Brown didn't get a great block, and there was a guy in the middle there, but Harper kind of pushed him over, and he picked up a good four yards. That was Harper just making his own hole. Yeah, I think Carter Ritter was really looking for that this time. They sent a cornerback down on a stunt right down the line, and he met Nico Brown in the back, so Nico couldn't get out and be a lead blocker, and he really bottled that play up to hold him to two yards on that play. 14 seconds left. We'll see if Herculane can get this playoff. They're lined up now with 10 to go. Venable takes the snap. They'll get it off. Venable will take himself to the right side. Great run. Now he's hit and dropped. Uh, but a good five-yard pickup, and that will do it for the first quarter. After one, Cardinal Ritter leads 6 to nothing on top for the Herculane and Blackcats. We'll be back after this one minute break. You're listening to High School Football on KJFF. One quarter, Herculaneum trails Cardinal Ritter six to nothing. If they switch ends of the field, Herculaneum will be going right to left now. Other scores: Hillsboro and Cape Central are tied at seven. That is in the first quarter. There, you could watch that game on it in a Web TV exclusive on J98 Web TV. This game on KJFF brought to you, brought to you. By Ruther Ford, Vineyard Funeral Home, Comfrey, First State Community Bank, Ozarks Federal, Hopkins Floor Company, and Kettle Hut Smokehouse in Crystal City. There's some confusion as to whether you really want to spot the ball. I'm not quite sure what's going on. It's third and five? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is third and, third and five at the Herculean 37. Takes a snap, hand off to Harper right up the middle, into the pile, and just nowhere to go. Boy, those A gaps. There's just really no space in those A gaps. Maybe a maybe a gain of one, but Herculean's going to punt again. With the exception of a couple of plays where Nico Brown could get out in front of him and actually lead block, they are just putting their three down linemen heads up, five guys hitting the hole. They're putting seven, eight guys at the line of the scrimmage on almost every play to really bottle things up between the tackles. So Eric Price and Melvin Higgins will be back deep to punt or to receive the punt. It is a short one and fields it at the 40-yard line. So not a great punt. And Herculaneum turns the ball over again after a punt. It, they get to get one first down this time, but not much offense for Herculaneum. And Cardinal Ritter will start again with pretty decent field position. Yeah, Herculaneum is going to have to mix their play calling up a little bit or something here because Cardinal Ritter really seems to have their number in the first quarter. This ball will be placed at the 40-yard line, and that is where Cardinal Ritter will take over first and 10. Up 6 to nothing, 40 seconds into the second quarter. I see Zach Bone, Herculaneum head baseball coach, standing along the fence down in front of us. There's a handoff right up the middle. Huge hole and a great pickup by number 7 for Cardinal Ritter, Jalen McLemore, and he picks up about 8 on the plate right up the middle. 
Nico Brown finally got over there to get a hold of the ground. The Wasted just dragged him down on that play after a good, hard run of eight yards right up the center guard spot. Call it a gain of seven, second down and three for the Lions. Two receivers to the far side, one to the near side. Best in the under center. Got a throw and it's incomplete. Threw it over the head of Eric Price. Single coverage over there and they threw it well over his head and that's we'll stop the clock with 10.45 left in the first quarter, in the second half, second quarter, excuse me. Terrell West coming into this game 28 for 81, a 34% completion percentage, 518 yards, four touchdowns, and four interceptions. That's coming into today. So certainly not a passing team, but they do have the ability. They're trying to run that seven-yard hit because Rick Dillingham's giving them about a 10-yard cushion on the receivers. Rick Dillingham showing blitz here. They hand it off to the right up the middle and a huge throw and a big game past the 30. Deep into Herculaneum territory and a big first down pickup by Cardinal Ritter, number six, Melvin Higgins, with the first down pickup. He just exploded through that line. It looked like Herculaneum was looking for something to the left. They they bit on that misdirection a little bit. He exploded on the left side, just started pinballing off of anybody that was in pursuit, picking up 15 yards before they finally bring him down. Well, this was Cardinal Ritter's first starting field position, and they have taken it in down to the Cardinal Ritter's. 38 the yard line. Best under center. He'll hand it off again. This is coming around the outside. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Stacy Cage, inviting you to tune in each week for the Twilight Zone radio dramas. Hear your favorite film and TV stars and radio recreations of one of Ron Serling's classic stories. It's the Twilight Zone, Saturday mornings at 11 and Sunday nights at 9 o'clock on KJF. Introducing the YMCA. Sure, you know the Y for a swim or a game of hoops, but we're more than that. We're a cause. When you take a jump shot at the Y, someone else is getting job training. Practice yoga. As a team, practices her leadership skills. We give people of all ages, incomes, and backgrounds a chance to learn, grow, and thrive. So while you might think of the Y as the place for lifting weights, we're also about lifting entire communities. That's the Y. We're so much more. Visit ymca.net slash more. KJFF is your daily source for Jefferson County News Online. Search for our stories under the Area News tab on MimoInfo.com. Get our stories and podcasts directly on your Facebook news feed. Follow us on Twitter for breaking news alerts. Read local news from the cutting room floor. When we blog on Tumblr, just search KJFF 1400 AM. And like, follow, or subscribe. Apologize for the technical difficulties, but we are back here at Cardinal Ritter. Cardinal Ritter is bringing the ball down inside the six, five yard line, down to the six yard line. They hand it off on the outside, try to cut back in, and a nice job by the Herky defense to keep him out. That is Naeem Moore with a carry, and he'll be dropped. Great of one on the play, and it will bring out third down and goal from the two yard line. A little better discipline there. That misdirection offense has caused some grief for the Herculean defense. They did a good job of staying in their lanes. They were waiting for him on that backside end around again that time. He tried a nice spin move, but he could only pick up one around about the two-yard line now trying to knock this one in. Cardinal Ritter leads it 6 to nothing here in the second quarter. 8.29 left in the first half, but the Lions threatening again. Best under center, and I think they're going to call a timeout here. Unless the refs have called the timeout. Oh, they threw a flag offsides on her on Herculaneum. Somebody or you see offsides against Cardinal Ritter? Yeah. They pointed to Cardinal Ritter. Offsides on Cardinal Ritter? They must have just lined up right in the neutral yeah. zone and never backed out. Is the only thing I think so. Usually when you do that they kinda of let you know before they call a penalty on you, but 
maybe they've done that a couple times and won them before. So it will be second, excuse me, third down in goal, Cardinal Ritter from the Herculaneum seven yard line. Bess under center. Sends a man in motion. They will hand it off. This is Jalen McLemore, and he is pushed out. Nice stand by the Herky defense to keep him out. Looks like he had a pretty good size hole on that outside, but he'll pick up a yard or two, and it will be fourth down, and you would assume that Cardinal Ritter will go for it here inside the tent. Great job of running that misdirection offense. This time, though, Herculean first player in got him stood up, and then the rest of his teammates followed him to keep him out of the end zone on that play after a good pick of a five. Fourth down and goal for Cardinal Ritter, leading 6 nothing. 7.30 left in the first half. Best under center. Three receivers out. He takes a snap, hands it to a man in motion, cuts to the outside. He is in touchdown. Cardinal Ritter adds another one to the board. Naeem Board gets in again. Second touchdown for him and second touchdown for Cardinal Ritter. And they go up 12 to nothing. Here with seven minutes left in the first half. Cardinal Ritter, they ran that, that end around to the right side. They're looking to seal off that end. Herculaneum had the right defense called. They had a man on the blitz on the left side. He got in the backfield, just couldn't bring down the speed. He got out, run to the outside, punches it in from four yards out with some good downfield blocking. So Cardinal Ritter will go for go for two again. This will make it 14 nothing. Line, since they line up, they hand it off to McLemore again. And end around, cuts back in. He is in. Two point conversion good. 14 0 Cardinal Ritter. We'll take a timeout. 14 0 Cardinal Ritter in a second. You're listening to High School Football on KJFF. Vineyard Funeral Home in the Twin Cities knows that every individual deserves a dignified service that honors his or her memory. They also know the quality of service provided reflects their commitment to you. As caring funeral directors, Vineyards direct the conversation to reveal memories that celebrate the unique life lived and the impact they had on family and friends. Vineyard Funeral Home on West Main in the Twin Cities and Commercial Boulevard in Peevely. Ready to help in your time of need. Hi, this is Mike Lowry with the Lowry Law Firm. If you're facing criminal charges or suffering from devastating injuries, call our law offices in Hillsboro or Festus. Since 1997, we have offered professional, service-oriented representation in Jefferson and surrounding counties. Our goal at the Lowry Law Firm is to put your mind at ease and, most importantly, to achieve solid results. We are the Lowry Law Firm in Festus and Hillsboro. Look us up on the web at thelowrylawfirm.com. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision. It should not be based solely upon advertisements. Back here at Cardinal Ritter, I'm Tommy Stuff alongside Eric Overly. 14 early lead for the Cardinal Ritter Lions with 7.19 left in the first quarter. Get you some other scores. Valley Catholic leads Monroe 21 to nothing in the first quarter. Cape Central, excuse me, Park Hill Central leads Kennett 14 nothing in the first. And Cape Central leads Hillsborough 14 to 7 in the first. 14 nothing here in the second at Cardinal Arena. The Lions getting set to kick it away to Herculaneum. It is a short one again, and it will be fielded and dropped. This is number 11, Brandon Smith, around the outside, and he gets pushed out of bounds. A shorter kick. At least they know that it's kicking short, and they moved it up. But once again, Herculaneum mishandled the kickoff. Yeah, that's the third one in a row. That's got to just be nerves, so they're just not used to handling the ball. The up guys have had to field it all three times. He gets that ball way up in the air. He only takes about a two-yard approach, and he just punches the ball. But it is up there. He may only kick it 25 or 30 yards, but it's 25, 30 yards in the air, too. Third time, Herculaneum has stumbled with that, just making that catch first before you start running. First down, 10 Herculaneum from their own 29-yard line. They have one first down today. This would be their fourth possession. They've only been able to muster. Now maybe maybe they've had two first downs. They have not moved the ball very well, though. They hand it off to Venable on the outside. Excuse me, Harper on the outside. And he is shoved out of bounds at the right at the 30-yard line. A gain of one. Yeah, they'll give him two on the play, but still not much for Herky, the Herculean offense. But they, they, are, they have changed a little bit. I mean, they're not running. That wasn't between the tackles like they haven't been able to do. They cut that to the outside. No, they tried to get the uh, – they put a slot side out there, a wide side, a couple of receivers out there, and tried to seal off that hedge. For Harper that time, so he could get around the end. Unfortunately, the speed, he just ran out of field and they just pushed him out of bounds. It's only about the third or fourth or time the clock's even stopped in this game. Actually, they did say that he stayed in bounds, so they'll continue. The clock 
will continue with run under seven minutes to play in the first half. Snap is back, hand off to Harper, trying to cut to the outside, cuts back in, big hole to the 35. Whoa, looked like he was down to Joe Ford, and they will say he was down at about the 35-yard line, but a really good run for the out for Harper, and it looks like the yards for Hercule are on the outside. Yeah, he's picking up about four, and they're just a good job by Hercule here calling the play and mixing it up a little bit there. Eric Bryce did a good job for Kerner of coming and sealing that edge and forcing Harper back to the inside. Then it was all Landon Harper just to stay on his feet, showing his athleticism to turn a three-yard run into about a four- or five-yard run. It looks like we might have a third down. Yeah, we do. There is a Cardinal Ritter line that is down on the field. Many top high school students use Jefferson College for its high-quality, innovative academic programs and flexible class options. Studies show that Jeffco graduates who transfer to four-year universities do as well or better academically than their peers. Discover the Jefferson College Advantage. Call 636-481-3000 or visit jeffco.edu and discover your future today. Third down and five at a Cardinal Ritter line. is down on the field and... Uh, Looks like it might be a while. We'll go ahead and take a, a commercial time out here. We'll be back after one minute. You're listening to High School Football on KJFF. Comtree is celebrating its 40th anniversary and want to thank you for your support. Hi, this is Tracy Wicking. We've been providing services to our friends in Jefferson County and the surrounding area since 1974. We are now a comprehensive health center providing family medical care, dental care, behavioral health, and substance abuse treatment services. We want to be your health care home. Check us out online at comtree.org or call us at 636-931-2700. Comtree. Health happens here. MMCT Construction Remodeling in Hillsboro provides high-quality home improvements as well as reconstruction from fire, water, and storm damage in Jefferson County and surrounding areas. Locally owned and operated, MMCT is committed to providing the highest standard of workmanship, which is backed by their superior customer service. So whether your home or business has sustained water or fire damage, or you're interested in remodeling, painting, or flooring, trust the reliable, friendly, compassionate professionals at MMCT. Give them a call at 636-797-4440 or visit them on the web at mmctinc.net. 797-4440. <laughs> They threw it deep and intended to Matt Coffman, but it falls incomplete, and Herculaneum will bring out the punt team, and once again, another three and out for the Herculaneum Black Cats. Coffman ran a good slant pattern, seven yards, and then in across the field. He had a step on the defender. Unfortunately, he hasn't thrown a pass in about 45 minutes. It was over his head. A wobbly punt bounces at the 45, and Herculaneum will field it at the 42. And that is where... Cardinal Ritter will take over once again. Well, four possessions for Herculaneum and four punts. They just can't get anything going. No, I've only got them for two first downs here so far, unofficially, of course. Uh, Landon Harper is their leading rusher. He's got 11 carries, and I've got him for about 25 yards so far. Venable's picked up about five on two rushes. They just haven't been able to get the motor runner on offense. Maybe it's just an indication of the nerves. We've seen three dropped kickoffs, too. They just need to calm down a little bit and start playing their game. It is cold outside. They are playing on the road. This is their first district playoff on the road this year. Played their first two at home. They are playing a higher seed. Kirkland in the two, Cardinal Ritter the one. First and ten lines from their own 44 hand. They're going to look into throw it, and it's completed right over the middle. And a first down, a huge pickup as Bess finds number nine, Naeem Moore down the seam. And a huge pickup and a huge play for Cardinal Ritter. 23-yarder right over the top. He had a lot of time to throw that ball. Stood in there strong. Herculean was bearing down on him, but he shot the right over the top of the linebackers, right into a gap, right in the backside. Terrell West, the Cardinal Ritter quarterback, completes it. That's the first completion of the game for Cardinal Ritter, I believe. It's the first completion of the game. For, no, they had one where they lost four yards. Uh, that's true. 5.45 and counting left in this first. Best dropping back, throwing a third again, and it's completed on the sideline. Down the first down the sideline, and it is a great stiff arm made by Naeem Moore. He had a guy out in front of him, and he got a great stiff arm, and he gained five yards after that, and that was the first down. Excellent job. He got that step in the corner. He, he found his wide open receiver. He pulls it and turns around. The Herculean defender's flat-footed, and he just popped him right in the helmet and knocked him down. Great stiff arm. He picked up about four more before the pursuit finally got him on the ground. First and 10, Cardinal Ritter again from the Herculean 18. Then a man in motion. They hand it off. Boy, great misdirection. McLemore on the outside to the 
pylon. Did he get in? No, he falls short. Well, boy, that was a great misdirection play. I completely missed who they had, but they pick up another first down, and Carter Ritter is moving the ball at will now. They really are. For a long time, it was number nine. They aimed more. He was there night. He was just giving them fits. He had nine carries, 87 yards, two touchdowns. Then they come out throwing the ball on this drive. Now Moore is putting a, put a hurt on him here, and they got him in, hurting him in deep trouble right here, right now. They're going to have to stand up strong and stop this one. Hillsborough has tied it up. They are tied with Cape Central 14-14. That is in the second quarter. First and goal from the two here for Cardinal Ritter, leading 14-0. That's what on the keeper, and he goes backwards. He's going to be dropped for a loss. I don't know if that was a broken play or not, but uh, number 24, Landon Harper, with a sack. I don't know if that was a broken play. It looked like something was like somebody was supposed to be in motion there. He was standing off. I don't think that was called like that. I don't know if that was supposed to be a bootleg back to the strong side or something. It looked a lot more like a broken play like you're talking about. Could be two that hurt today. They had two or three guys in the backfield. They may have just found a seam to get in there and disrupt that play and no place to go. So that will be second down and goal from the eight-yard line now after a loss of six. It looks like we're going to get a timeout called by the Cardinal Ritter Lions. They do. Cardinal Ritter calls the timeout. We will take it as well. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to High School Football on KJFX. There's a new barbecue place in Crystal City where homemade is the only way. Kettle Hut Smokehouse specializes in blues, brews, and BBQ. Most everything they serve starts out as ingredients, not boxes, but or cans from slow smoke fresh baby backs down to the sauces they serve all made on site if down home make from scratch melt in your mouth barbecue sounds good kettle huts will be your new favorite restaurant come see why folks are saying kettle hut smokehouse is hands down the best around With 4.05 left in the first half, I'm Tommy Self alongside Eric Overly. Carter Ritter threatening again, and, you know, for early on, they did have a, a turnover on downs, and they were stuffed a little bit, but they have picked it up on offense, and they have scored, uh, scored a touchdown on each of their last two possessions, and they're threatening again. Well, we also have Coach Cook worried here, too, is they went from four, five, or six yards, they're averaging like 10, 12, or 15 yards on these last few plays. They've started completing the passes. The best thing you can have right now is Rick getting to hold here and get into the locker room and make some adjustments. Second down and goal from the eighth flag on the play. They blow it dead. Cardinal Ritter was dropping back to pass. That will be offsides again on Cardinal Ritter. I have never seen offsides on the offense, and I've seen it twice here today. Yeah, it has to be somebody just dropping that hand right down into the neutral zone and then never resetting. And usually they kind of give them a warning, too. I mean, I mean you know, especially with wide receivers, maybe not on the offensive line as much, but usually they let you know if you're lining up, and obviously they've probably warned them enough that they've, it's the second time they've called it. Yeah, they give you one time, and then after that, it's like, you know, you're getting a little close or something. I know I ask, and they'll tell them, but this time, the twice they've called it here in the second quarter. And off again to Mackle on the outside. Nobody in front of him. Flag on the play. He is in the end zone. There's a flag down on the play. There's... And the one of the refs that threw the flag is showing touchdown. I can't imagine. I mean, you'd think it would be holding, but that they did signal touchdown. The referee that threw the flag signal touchdown. Generally, if the referee has signaled a foul called it, it's got to be a defensive foul. Otherwise, he wouldn't signal touchdown. You would imagine so. It will be a holding on Carter Ritter, so it will come back. So I don't know why the ref is bothering showing signaling the touchdown. But they did, so that will back Cardinal Ritter up 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Cardinal Ritter, they've had a, any kind of problem. It's been on penalties. They've committed a few more than Herculaneum has tonight. And that's a touchdown called back. Can't have those. I've got him for five penalties so far for about 40 yards just on the penalty. But it has taken away a score. It took away a 24-yard run. Their penalties have really been big ones if you look at the amount of yards it took out. And it just took points off the board, too. That could be very costly here. We'll see what they can do here on second down. That will back them up to the 18-yard line, second down and goal from the Cardinal Ritter 18. They have shown they are willing to throw it here recently. They hand it off. They reverse the handoff. It's got to the near side. Harper brings them down at the 10. And 
It's a reverse where they hand it off to one guy in motion, and he hands it off to the next guy. It's, it's, a, it's the old double reverse. It's like the old backyard play, but they're so tight. They do it like in between the guards, and it is done extremely quickly. It is, and it's really neat to watch. I mean, their timing is right on. I think they did a good job there of stringing that play out so the pursuit could get in there and stop him on just an eight-yard carry. We get an official timeout called on the field. Cape Central was taking the lead over Hillsborough, leading 20-14 to 14 in the second quarter. Park Hill Central leads Kennett 14-6 to 6 in the second, and Valley Catholic all over Monroe 35-6 to 6 in the second quarter. Where it's 14 nothing here in the second quarter, Cardinal Ritter driving, and they're on top trying to add to their lead. They send a man in motion. Pass looking to throw. Rowan to the left. He throws it, and it's incomplete. And that's a flag on the play. We're going to get a roughing the passer called here on Herculaneum. I think Herculaneum is going to get called for roughing the passer. He was hit well after he threw it. Roughing the passer on Herculaneum. That will be a basically a half the distance to the goal with the ball at the 10-yard line right here. So that will make it third down and five. Excuse me, third down and goal from the five. We had an eight-yard temperature. I have that is only a hurricane of second penalty of the game, but that is a very costly one. That's just a mental mistake there. Yeah, I mean, on, on third down, you get an incomplete pass thrown, and you just give them, give them the play back. And that's a, I mean, that was, I mean, it, it was well after the play. It wasn't even close. That's, that's a penalty that you just should know you not to take. make. You just can't take that kind of penalty in playoff football. We're in week two of the playoffs here. Three. 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 Two for me. I wasn't here last week. Right. <laughs> that will be an automatic first down as well. So first down and goal for Cardinal Ritter from the five to make it even worse. Best sends the man in motion. They hand it off to McLemore. Huge hole. He is hit, though, and he is dropped short. Great tackle by Nico Brown. He saved the touchdown. He came through there and found him before he got into the end zone. Nice tackle by Nico Brown. It really was. He came out of nowhere on that one. It looked like there was nothing but green space between here and here. You could see the building on the other side of the road between the gap he had to run into. And Nico Brown just came out of nowhere to save that touchdown. Nico Brown, the all-time leading tackler at Herculaneum. He broke the school record in a career this season. Coming into today, had 222 on his career. Second down and goal from the one. That sends the man in motion again. They hand it off right up the middle and touchdown. Easy walk in. Touchdown by Cardinal Ritter. Melvin Higgins takes it in. And Cardinal Ritter extends their lead up 20 to nothing. And I'm sure they will be attempting a two point conversion here. That was just power football. There was nothing fancy about that. They handed the ball off to him. The only one that was putting any kind of a fake on was the quarterback. He carried it out. The line just drove through. Three yards in. The only contact was after he was in the end zone. So the, the Cardinal Ritter Lions will go for two again like they have all game and all season. 227 left in this first half. 20 to nothing the lead for Cardinal Ritter trying to make it 22 to nothing. A three score game. Best dropping back on the throw. Wide open. It is good. Melvin Higgins was wide open. Nobody covered him. And Cardinal Ritter goes up 22 to nothing. We'll take a minute's time out. You're listening to High School Football on KJFF. Service Master Restoration by MMCT provides restoration services for water, fire, and smoke damage in the Jefferson County area. When disaster strikes, you need the right people on your side. Service Master Restoration by MMCT is available 24-7, 365 days a year. They're ready to help you. Give Service Master Restoration by MMCT a call at 636-797-8588. Service Master Restoration by MMCT, restoring peace of mind. We are willing to make home loans when others are not. This is Dennis McIntosh of Ozark Federal Savings and Loan. A ma massive amount of new consumer regulations went into effect this year. Many lenders who once followed the twists and turns of the market have retreated from home lending. It's just too much, they said. But the men and women of Ozarks Federal have rolled up our sleeves and have mastered those new rules. We are ready, able, and willing to make home loans when others are not. Ozarks Federal for 84 years, the homeowner's bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. All Cardinal Ritter so far in the second quarter. 227 left in the first half. A 22 nothing lead for Cardinal Ritter. Herculano about to get the ball back. 227 left, and 
but they have very, struggled mightily to move the ball at all. Kickoff is coming. It is high and short and fielded by Brandon Smith. And we get a flag on the play, and I think Kirk Killaney, or excuse me, Cardinal Ritter was offsides on the kickoff, so we'll do it again. Six penalty, 55 yards. We got two for Herculean. See, some of these penalties have been extremely costly, like this last one with the pass, the roughing the passer call where he gave him the first down. That puts seven more right back on the board for Cardinal Ritter after two good strong plays. Now they're going to back it up about five. See if Herculean could possibly get some decent field position here with 226 left to give it at least take a shot at the end zone or two. That will back them up to the 35 yard line and the Herculaneum. Return game can move up. But good good news for Herculaneum. They actually caught that kickoff this time. First time they've actually done that. LJ Nelson and Brandon Smith are the ones back deep to receive the kickoff. 226 left in the first half. 22 nothing lead for Cardinal Ritter. They've got a lineman kicking off. Takes two steps and kicks it high. It'll be fielded at the 38-yard line. Nowhere to go. Now it gets to the outside to the 40. Pushed out of bounds. This is number three, Treston Byers, with the return. And decent starting field position for Herculaneum, but field position or not, they just got to be able to move the ball. Yeah, and with 2.19 left, they haven't shown that they can do that yet. Uh, let's see what Coach Cook pulls out of his sleeve with this limited amount of time starting on his own 40-yard line. He's got 60 yards to go, and I'm sure he wants to put something on the board here before going into the locker room at halftime. Well, I mean, you're in a situation now, 219, not that you have to hurry, but just the fact that you haven't been able to run it, that you would imagine they'll be throwing it here. But they, their last play, their last drive was an incomplete pass, and I think that was the first one. They've, they've only tried one yeah, away. They one. They throw it here to Harper, and it is incomplete, almost intercepted. Number two, Eric Weiss got in there and nearly intercepted and could have taken it to the house. And he, and he caught that, but Venable's pass ball is incomplete, and it is now second down. If he doesn't get his fingertips on that ball, he had a beat on that. Bryce is going for six on that thing. That was almost a touchdown-saving tip or drop. Venable dropping back again, going to throw it to the right side, and it is almost intercepted again, but it once again, it falls complete incomplete. Well, Venable coming in today passing, 17 for 45, 37% completion percentage, 217 yards, and one touchdown, five interceptions. He's so, sticking with Venable last week when they wanted to go to the rest, they went to Lodike. Venable dropping back to pass again, he is corralled, and he is going to be brought down and sacked. And that's just a coverage sack by Cardinal Ritter. Nowhere to go for Venable to throw it. And once again, another three and out. They lose two yards on the sack. And, Car- and Cardinal Ritter will get it back with about a minute and a half left in the first half. Cardinal Ritter dropped back man-to-man coverage, and they put two free safeties back there in kind of a zone coverage. That left five rushers up top. They just Five rushers did their job that time and put him on the ground. So Herculaney will step back to punt, and I think they're going to take all the time off the clock. They don't have a play clock here at Cardinal Ritter, so the referee has to count it out. And now we get a flag on the play, thrown by the linesman. That is an illegal procedure penalty on Herculaney. So they waited to take the time off the clock, and then they jumped right at the last second. This isn't a huge penalty, but it will help Cardinal Ritter. Cardinal Ritter field position wise, clock stops with 128 left in the first half. The last two drives, you probably don't want to give them any time at all. They take the snap. The punt is away. It is a low one. It will bounce at the 45 and go out of bounds, and it will roll out of bounds at the 45 yard line, and that is where Cardinal Ritter will take over first and 10 from their own 45. Well, for Cardinal Ritter, they have started on their own 35, their own 40, their own 44. Those are their last three possessions, and they have all resulted in touchdowns. Their best starting field position was on the Hercule in 40, the first one of the game, and they went out four and out on that. Yeah, that was, a, that was a turnover on downs. One twenty-two left in the first half. Cardinal Ritter leading 22 to nothing, trying to get a late score here. And now we get a flag on the play before the, the... And now a delay of game on Cardinal Ritter. You get a delay of game on the first play of the drive. That's just that's just an inexcusable penalty there. 
you would think they would have everything set up. It's hard to watch that, though. I mean, I'm sure the referee's doing his job and counting it out for him. But you can see the coach was even out on the field for that one. He wasn't happy with the way they got that play set up. Yeah, you don't you don't have play clocks here at, at Cardinal Ritter High School, but still, I mean, it's your it's your first play of the drive. You should kind of know what's going on. So it will back to that five yards and make it first and 15 with 122 left in the first half. Three receivers to the left side, one to the right. Now they'll move Naeem Moore a little closer. They'll send a man in motion. That's McLemore. He's got it on the end around, but he is hit. Not much on the play. A nice defensive stop by Landon Harper. Landon Harper got in there. We got down on those knees. Brought him down quick. He can only pick up two on that play. Clock will continue rolling with one minute left. Second down and a long 14. Tight formation here. Bal Best goes in the shotgun. He's got to throw it. Logan to the right side, and it is incomplete. And a flag on the play. Landon Harper was on the coverage. It was intended for Jalen McLemore, and I think Harper is going to get called here for pass interference. He had pretty good coverage there. Unfortunately, when he went to lay out, I think he wrapped his arm right around the defensive player's back. That's an instant call for the referee when he sees that arm wrapped around the player and you're spinning him around like that. And so that will... They're, start, they're talking it over with the Carter Ritter offense. And they will mark off 15 yards. And an automatic first down. 52 seconds left, a 22-7 lead for Carter Ritter. And high school football pass interference is not a spot foul. So, actually, this is a situation where you actually get the benefit. First and 10, Carter Ritter into Herky territory. Now at the Black Hat 43. Best dropping back out of the shotgun, looking left all day to throw. Throws it, completed on the sideline. Little juke. Juke again. Now he's finally brought down right at the 40. 30, excuse me, the 35-yard line, right close to the first down marker. Now a late flag comes out of the scrum. Nine more with the complete with the reception. They're telling Herculaneum to back up off the sideline, but we got a late flag that came out kind of after the pileup, and we'll see what the call is here. A dead ball foul. Sideline violation on Herculaneum. So your first sideline violation doesn't result in yardage, I don't believe. They actually, I'm pretty sure they give you a warning. You get yeah. one more. And then after that, then it's a sideline violation. So I think they got the first down on the play anyway. With 43 seconds left. Boy, the first the first quarter went by really quick and it was very clean, but this second quarter a lot more penalties. Oh yeah, we had a tremendous amount. I think we only had two penalties in the first quarter combined, maybe three. We've had about three times that amount here in the second quarter. And that's really the only thing with the one time out, that's the only thing that's been stopping the clock in the touchdowns. They come out in measure and Carter Ritter did pick up the first down. So no yardage on the sideline on the on the penalty. But it is the first down and Carter Ritter continues to move the ball at the Herculaneum 34 with 43 seconds left. Clock is ticking. A 22-0 lead for Cardinal Ritter. Best dropping back to pass. Throwing it over the middle. It's almost intercepted. Nico Brown was all alone, and he just went in and out of his hands. We've seen Nico Brown this year in the three broadcasts we've had with Herculaneum. does a great job of dropping into that coverage out of that middle linebacker spot, reaches the quarterback's eyes, and does a good job, but he's only managed to pull one in. He can't quite get the grasp on the ball. Nico Brown has two interceptions on the season. He nearly had his third there. Clock stops, 34 seconds left in the first half. Bass goes under center now after spending the last couple snaps in the shotgun. They hand it off. This is right up the middle. And Herculaneum stuffs them up to the 30-yard line. And I think we're going to get a timeout called by Cardinal Ritter. Lions call a timeout. We'll take it as well. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to High School Football on CJFF. Comtree is now accepting medical and dental patients at our new facility in Hillsboro. Hi, this is Tracy Wicking. We accept most private insurances as well as Medicaid or Medicare. Those with no insurance may qualify for a sliding fee discount. Call us at 636-481-6040 for more information or to schedule an appointment at our new facility in Hillsboro. We want to be your 
your health care home. 636-481-6040 or check us out online at comtree.org. Comtree. Health happens here. Cardinal Ritter, a 22 to nothing lead for the Lions on top of Herculaneum. Cardinal Ritter driving, just, driving, just called the timeout to save some time. You're listening to High School Football on KJFF. Best is Crystal City, Herculaneum. I'm Tommy Suff alongside Eric Oberly. Also coming to you on Web TV, Matt Fair running the camera. Jeff Weiner doing the hard work back in our KJF studios along with Crystal Wilka. It is a 22 to nothing lead for Cardinal Ritter with 28 seconds left. Ritter looking at a third down and eight. Best dropping back. Going to throw it in the flat. It's caught by Bryce down the sideline. Got blocking out in front of him. Leaves over one man. He has dropped. But a first down pickup by Bryce up to the 15-yard line. And Cardinal Ritter driving again. And they could make this a four-score game in halftime. They're moving the ball well, 22-0. They had a great screen set up there. They got four blockers in front of them, 15 yards on that play. Best in the sh- takes the snap and he throws it to the flat on the left side. Cut to the right. Now he's dropped this completion to number 11, Darren Hale. And we get another timeout called, and this one is called by Cardinal Ritter again. Many top high school students choose Jefferson College for its high quality, innovative academic programs and flexible class options. Studies show that Jeffco graduates who transferred to four year university. These two as well are better academically than their peers. Discover the Jefferson College Advantage. Call 636-41-3000 or visit jeffco.edu and discover your future today. Cardinal Ritter, with seven seconds left, could make this a four-score game here at halftime, coming up on halftime. Yeah, that could be a very large thing for her today to overcome. What's ironic about this, we thought we were going to come into this game in the first quarter. It looked like traditional Herculaneum. We're going to run the football. Cardinal Ritter, they didn't throw the ball very often. They were going to run the football. Different approach to it. Misdirection, a little more traditional with the read option. Here in the last uh, second quarter, in the last about eight to nine minutes, Carter Riddle has really thrown the ball effectively. Second down and four to go. Cardinal Ritter with the ball at the Herculaneum 10-yard line with 7.2 seconds left. So they really only have time for maybe one play here. Average play is about seven seconds. And now it looks like Herculaney will call the timeout. Herculaney didn't like what they uh, were lined up in, so they called the timeout as well. Tonight, players, balls, strikes, fouls, or flags, your referees and game officials are a vital part of high school athletics. If you've ever tried your hand at officiating, you know how hard these men and women work, and you certainly know they would never miss a call intentionally. Keep these things in mind as you attend sporting events. After all, respecting officials and authority figures is one of the most valuable lessons that we can teach our students. This message has been brought to you by your friends at KJFF and the Missouri State High School Activities Association. This is the district championship game of Class 2 District 2. Winner moves on to the quarterfinals next week, and they would face either Malden or Carruthersville. That game going on right now as well. I'd love to tell you where it would be, but that's kind of dependent on who's playing. So second down and four from the 10-yard line, and Cardinal Ritter has time for one play, unless it's a real quick incomplete pass. You only really have time for one play here. Seven seconds left. Best dropping back. Looking to the right. Got a throw deep into the corner. And it is caught. Touchdown. What a catch by Naeem Moore. Right at the back high line. A perfect throw by Terrell West. A great play made by Cardinal Ritter. And they go up 28 to nothing. Here are two seconds left in the first half. Well, in the second time they're throwing to Eric Price in this game, he catches both of them. That ball was absolutely thrown perfectly at that back pylon. Beautiful shot right into that back corner. The only one who's got a chance at it is Eric Bryce. Pulls it in, lays out, gets the foot on the ground. Six more for Cardinal Ritter. They line up to go for two. They send a man in motion. Best will hand it off right at the middle. This is Hagens. And I think he is... Oh, he's in. Two-point conversion is good. 30 to nothing. All Cardinal Ritter here in the first half. Two seconds left. We'll take a one-minute time out here. Listening to High School Football and KJFF. If you're in the...
need of criminal defense or personal injury representation, call the Lowry Law Firm. Hi, this is Mike Lowry. We are an aggressive Jefferson County law firm handling criminal, injury, and domestic cases. When you have a great deal or even a little at stake, trust us, the Lowry Law Firm in Hillsborough and Festus. We have earned a reputation for integrity and are respected members of the legal and civic communities. We are the Lowry Law Firm. Look us up on the web at thelowrylawfirm.com. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision. It should not be based solely upon advertisements. At First State Community Bank, we understand that quick and easy access to your money is important. That's why when you open an account at a convenient FSCB location, you'll walk away with a debt card that's ready to use. And you can even use that card at over 23,000 ATMs nationwide with the MoneyPass ATM network. Visit us at First State Community Bank today and get quick and easy access to your money. First State Community Bank. Success starts here. Member FDIC online at FSCB.com. It's all Cardinal Ritter, 40 to nothing with two seconds left. Turkey's only chance of a touchdown here is to run back this kickoff, and Cardinal Ritter hasn't kicked it deep at all. Here's a little short kick. Field it at the third. Now goes on the ground, and did Cardinal Ritter recover? Cardinal Ritter might have recovered this. It won't matter anyway. There's no time left on the clock, so this is all incidental and doesn't really matter. But that will do it for the first half. A third. Pretty to nothing lead all Cardinal Ritter as we go to halftime. Herculaneum finally gets a good return as L.J. Nelson takes it back to the 50-yard line, and Herculaneum will start with decent starting position in, in Cardinal Ritter territory at the 45. That's the first. Here's Timmy Venable looking to throw. He's going to throw it. It is going to be incomplete. It was just shy of the intended receiver. He's looking for L.J. Nelson at the 40-yard line. It will drop incomplete. Carter Ritter got two players deep into the secondary there to really disrupt that play. Venable had to fall backwards. It was a fadeaway pass he was trying to throw there. You had a heck of an arm to get that pass off. So it will be second down and 10, Herculaneum. At the Cardinal Ritter, 46. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Venable in the shotgun. Sends a man in motion. That's Nelson. Goes to the back behind him. Now they hand it off to Hartwick. Cuts back towards the middle. Nice rush. In the middle. Got all kinds of fuel in front of him. He is off to the races. Landon Harper scores a Herculaneum. Gets on the board. First drive of the second half. And the second play, Herculaneum gets on the board, a run up the middle by Landon Harper. Tim Venable was running that read option they have. He left that ball in there and held on to it for about a count of about three before he finally released it to Venable. And when he did, Venable actually cut right back against the pursuit, right up the middle of the field, and it was a foot race. I think it caught the defensive secondary a little bit off guard on that one, and he outran him to the end zone for a 45-yarder. Well, whatever Coach Cook and Herculaneum did there, it worked. Now they'll go for two here. Venable in the shotgun, hands it off to Harper. Harper will keep it off right tackle, and he is in. Two-point conversion is good, and Herculaneum gets on the board early here in the second half. It's 30-8. to eight. We'll take a minute break. You're listening to High School Football on KJFF. Comtree is now accepting medical and dental patients at our new facility in Hillsboro. Hi, this is Tracy Wicking. We accept most private insurances as well as Medicaid or Medicare. Those with no insurance may qualify for a sliding fee discount. Call us at 636-481-6040 for more information or to schedule an appointment at our new facility in Hillsboro. We want to be your health care home. 636-481-6040 or check us out online at Comtree.org. Comtree Health happens here. If you're in need of criminal defense or personal injury representation, call the Lowry Law Firm. Hi, this is Mike Lowry. We are an aggressive Jefferson County law firm handling criminal, injury, and domestic cases. When you have a great deal or even a little at stake, trust us, the Lowry Law Firm in Hillsborough and Festus. We have earned a reputation for integrity and are respected members of the legal and civic communities. We are the Lowry Law Firm. Look us up on the web at thelowrylawfirm.com. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision. It should not be based solely upon advertisements. How about that for a first drive? Herculaneum gets on the board on a huge run by Landon Harper. 
They still drill it, though, 30 day, and they will kick off for just the second time. Great run by Harper. Excellent read there. He saw a gap and cut it right back against the, the coverage. It was in the pursuit coming to the left side of the field. Jesse O'Dell will kick it off for Herculaneum. They're going to look, look almost kick that out of bounds, but Hercule, Cardinal Ritter will field it. And it's going to be, they're running the length of the field, and they're going to finally push him out of bounds at the 45. Number five, Don L. Sharp with the return. He ran. How wide is the football field? 65 yards? I think he had 62 <laughs> yards east and west and three north and south. <laughs> so it was a 68-yard return for a plus three. Yeah. Well, what was the difference there on that drive by Herculaneum on that huge run up the middle by Landon Harper? I think that's one of those classic examples. You have to ask Coach Cook what sort of a new Rocky speech he actually gave him at halftime because he needs to write that one down for next season and keep that one in the back pocket. And think about some of the third quarters that Herculaneum has had here. In this this season, as Cardinal Ritter goes on offense, and the shotgun they hit it off right up the middle, all kinds of room. This is now he's back with one. He is free, and he is in touchdown. First play of the drive, Cardinal Ritter answers after it's touchdown by Herculaneum, and it is now 36 to eight. What an answer by Cardinal Ritter! That, if you're a good team, is exactly what you do. They did it in two plays. Cardinal Ritter came out and did it in one. 54 yard or nine yards farther. Absolute explosion through the right side of that line. And when he got into that secondary, he put a move on. I think they're looking for the defensive player's shoes out here about the 40 yard line. And he was just gone after that. So it is now 36 to 8 on the first play of the drive from Herculaneum. Well, whatever. Uh, Herculaneum fixed there on offense. They let something go on defense. They'll go for two again. They will not get it. The try is no good. We'll take another break. 36 to 8, the lead for Cardinal Ritter. You're listening to High School Football on KJFF. At First State Community Bank, we understand that quick and easy access to your money is important. That's why when you open an account at a convenient FSCB location, you'll walk away with a debt card that's ready to use. And you can even use that card at over 23,000 ATMs nationwide with the MoneyPass ATM network. Visit us at First State Community Bank today and get quick and easy access to your money. First State Community Bank. Success starts here. Member FDIC online at FSCB. Com. Vineyard Funeral Home in the Twin Cities knows that every individual deserves a dignified service that honors his or her memory. They also know the quality of service provided reflects their commitment to you. As caring funeral directors, Vineyards direct the conversation to reveal memories that celebrate the unique life lived and the impact they had on family and friends. Vineyard Funeral Home on West Main in the Twin Cities and Commercial Boulevard in Peavely. Ready to help in your time of need. Well, two quick touchdowns. We've got two. We've got two touchdowns in 46 seconds here in the start of the second half. Cardinal Ritter will kick it off. It will be fielded by Brandon Smith at the 27. He's going up the middle toss cut to the right side, and he is brought down at the 29-yard line. A decent return by Brandon Smith, and they will start deep in their own territory. Wow, what a way to start the second half. We started out. It was all the Cardinal Ritter. Hercules, who came out, absolutely exploded on two plays. Great run. Cardinal Ritter came back and just absolutely hammered the door shut. Said they are going to keep this lead, and it's going to be on their field. They're going to play it their way. So the winner of this game will face either Malden or Carothersville. And that game has been interesting. First and 10, we get reports. I'll tell you about those after this play. There's the handoff to Harper. No, Venable keeps it himself, but he breaks two tackles, and he's got room. Cuts back towards the middle. He picks up a first down, still going. Now finally, drug down. What a run by Timmy Venable. 20 yards on the carry after he broke about three tackles on the play. He was just pinballing on that run. Everybody had grabbed him. Nobody could wrap him up, and he just kept going. Picks up 20 on his first run. Great job by Venable there to keep that drive alive. First and 10, Herculaneum, ball at the 50-yard line. The Malden game is, is that over? Did they call it? No, they still. Malden leads 42 to nothing over Carrozza. There was a benches clearing brawl. Five people were, were kicked out of the game. One guy was arrested. Looks like Malden's going to win that one. 
and they will play the winner of this one. Snap is low. Venable fakes the handoff. He's going to take it himself. Look at the throw. He finally gets the lane. It's completed on the far side. What a shot. And now a flag well thrown, and they might get a helmet to helmet here. I missed him. That was completed. DJ Brown brought, he hauled that one in on a little two yard flip pass. He turned it into an eight yard game. And uh, I believe it's the Cardinal Ritter player that delivered the hit is down on the ground and he is injured. So we've got the time out there on the field. Fans, when you attend a high school game, do you stand at attention during the national anthem? Do you check? Do you cheer a good play by the opposing team? If your team loses, do you take it well in stride? If you answered yes or no to any of these questions, you are showing positive examples of sportsmanship. Don't forget that when you attend high school events, young eyes are watching you for examples of acceptable behavior. By making conscious effort, you'll be helping our students grow into better citizens. This message was brought to you by friends of the Missouri State High School Activities Association and KJSF. The player by Cardinal Ritter is down on the ground. Now he is sitting up. He did give the call. It was a helmet-to-helmet hit call, but he definitely got the worst of it going head-to-head with Nico Brown. Other scores on the regional radio. Valley Catholic leads Monroe 49-12 to in the third quarter. Park Hill Central leads Kennett 28-14 to in the third quarter. And Cape Central leads Hillsborough 35-21 to in the third quarter. The good good sign here, the Cardinal Ritter player, that is Niall Sharp, is up and walking off under his own power. So he just kind of, he took a lick. But uh, he gave a lick, and I think he got it right back. 36-8 to eight is the score here in the second quarter. They'll mark off 15 yards, the helmet-to-helmet penalty for Cardinal Ritter. And if Cardinal Ritter has had one uh, Achilles heel, I, I mean, they're winning 36-8, so it's not a kill, Achilles heel, but if they've had one problem, it's been penalties. Yeah, they had, uh, I've got it for seven penalties now, about 70, 75 yards. And there's another 15 yarder to start here in the third quarter. And not to mention the fact that he got his bell run on that and still picked up the penalty. So Hurricane Lane moves the ball here after a couple of good offensive plays. And now they get the benefit of a 15 yard penalty. And they've got a first and 10 at the Cardinal rear 26. Venable in the gun sends LJ Nelson in motion. Running the read option. Harper will keep it. He is hit immediately. That was the one that Venable should have taken because Harper, I think, was wrapped up when Venable let go of it. It was the exact same play that we saw on the first drive when he broke it for 45 yards. He kept that ball in there for a long time. Cardinal Ritter made some adjustments there because they shut it down and made it a loss of two on that play. That will bring up a second down and 12 from the 26. They'll line up in the same motion again. Brown and Harper standing to Venable's left. Venable in the gun. Brown in front of him. Harper behind him. They take the snap. Can't out to Harper with rim to the right side. He picks up a good carry. Flag is thrown in late. He's going to be shy of the first down, I think. We get a flag thrown by the back judge. That is usually a face mask or something yeah. along those lines when it comes in from the back judge or a uh, late hit or something. And it looks like another blow to the head. So that's going to be a 15-yard penalty. And it's, this is going to be a first and goal. Two 15-yard penalties this drive by Cardinal Ritter. And Herculaneum might be able to take advantage of some of these penalties this time. But they still trail at 36-8. Long way to go. 9.32 left in this third quarter. David Harper's got three carries, 51 yards, tack on 30 yards on the two helmet-to-helmet contact hits. And Timmy Venable with a 20-yard run. And you are looking at Herculaneum, and they're knocking on the door to try to bring this game a little closer. He has more yards on two carries this quarter than, quarter than he did all first half. There's the snap. They hand it off. This is to the reverse man, and he is going to be dropped for a loss. That is number 17, L.J. Nelson, who was dropped for a loss. And Herculaneum tried something a little different. He used the reverse there, and they're going to lose about six yards on the play. Unfortunately, that play just took a little too long to develop. And as it, it takes that long, players gradually are coming off their blocks and they just keep throwing all the seams. There was just no place for LJ Nelson to go on that. Cardinal Ritter played that very well defensively. A little bit of a different look here for Herculaneum. Harper, the lone man in the backfield. 
Actually, no, they, it's kind of an offset eye formation. Harper right to the right side. He's got a room. Cuts to the outside. He is in touchdown. Great run by Harper. It had Brown to the right available, and Harper to the left, and Brown led him, and a perfect setup by Herculaneum, and they have scored again. It is now 36-14. That read option where he just tucks it into his stomach, keeps his hands on the ball, and just runs along with him sideways until he sees what he wants. Hands it to Harper. Harper cuts right inside the defensive end and then just explodes out towards the right flag to punch it in for six more. Boy, what a difference a half makes. 16 yards on the play. Here's the two-point conversion to try, and it is good. Two-point conversion is good as Harper gets it in, and it is now 36-16. to 8.32 left in the end. Now the referees are discussing it. The side judge on this side didn't signal anything. The side judge on that side said it was two. It was good. 36-16, take a one-minute break. You're listening to High School Football on KJFF. There's a new barbecue place in Crystal City where homemade is the only way. Kettle Hut Smokehouse specializes in blues, brews, and BBQ. Most everything they serve starts out as ingredients, not boxes, bags, or cans. From slow smoke, fresh baby backs, down to the sauces they serve, all made on site. If down home, made from scratch, melt in your mouth barbecue sounds good, Kettle Hut's will be your new favorite restaurant. Come see why folks are saying Kettle Hut Smokehouse is hands down the best around. Who do you want to process your home loan to help you with the biggest financial decision most people ever make? You can choose to have your application processed by someone who lives far away. You can choose to have your loan decided by a stranger. Or you can choose Ozarks Federal to help you with the biggest financial decision most people ever make. We process home loans here by our own people who know the local market, who know our community, who know how to help you. Choose to have your home loan processed by someone you know. Choose Ozarks Federal, the entirely local equal housing lender. Exchange a half mate. Herculaneum will kick it off. It will be short and it will be. Is it an uh, onside? Herculaneum! Her, did Herculaneum get it? It was a short, kind of a half onside kick. Herculaneum is saying they have it. I don't see a signal. Did it go 10 yards? I guess it did. They're standing right at the 50 yard line. It was very it was close. A good onside kick. Herculaneum recovers right at the 50 yard line. They place the ball at the 40. It has to go 10 yards, and they get it right at the 50. His last kickoff, he kicked it to the exact same, the far side of the field. He only put it about 20 yards deep. This time it only goes about 12 yards deep. And the ball pops out, and Herculaneum's got it on the 50. They've got it right at midfield, trailing by 20 and all kinds of momentum. Venable will take it himself. No, actually, he did have it off to Harper, and he's dropped for a loss. Good fake there. So, 8.21 left in the... In left in the third quarter. Herculaneum has it right at the 50. Down by 20, they have a long way to go, but they've gotten up to a very nice start here in the third quarter. Loss of two on the play, second down and 12. With eight minutes left in the third quarter. Venable in the shotgun. Snap is low. He's going to take it himself. He breaks through the right side. Ooh, big tackle made by number nine, Naeem Moore. He tried to save the touchdown. Great fake, and Venable had all kinds of space, but Moore tripped him up. Low snap. You see this mass of humanity go four yards back into the back, in the backfield. It's Cardinal Ritter, Herky first, and all of a sudden Venable just explodes out of this pack, and it's just literally a toe tackle. He got him by the toe and brought him down. There's a lot of green in front of him if he doesn't make that tackle. Third down and nine for Herculaneum on the Cardinal Ritter 49, trailing 36 to 60. Another little snap is on the ground. Venable picks it up, and he's going to be sacked, and he's going to lose 10 yards. Another little snap, but this time Venable just takes the snap and can't make anything out of it. This is Herculaneum was really getting some good plays together, stringing some stuff together, getting some momentum going. The second low snap, third low snap of this half, and this one cost them 10 yards. And now they're going to have to bring out the punt team and punt it away after recovering an onside kick. After a touchdown, huge swing of momentum, but a three and out. Snap is a little high. They get the punt away. It's a short one. It's coming towards this sideline. I think it hit the referee in the back. I don't know how he can notice the spot up there because he wasn't looking. He was looking the other way. But it's that's where it's supposed to be. Anyway, Eddie. Carter <laughs> 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 will get the ball at their own 37-yard line. 
leading 36 to 16. Their one other possession this half was the first play of their drive, and they scored on a touchdown. Well, this has been a, a crazy second half, and we're just a little over halfway through the third quarter. Yeah, now we'll see if the Herculean defense can stand up here to a, a very potent Cardinal, Cardinal Ritter offense this game. First down and 10, Cardinal Ritter from their own 37. Two receivers to the right. Now they send a man in motion. Best takes a snap, and that will be false start on her, on Cardinal Ritter. So five-yard penalty for Herculean. Yeah, you're right, Tommy. If there's been one hitch in the Cardinal Ritter game this day, it has been the penalties. They've already got 35 yards in penalties here in the second half. This half is not even six minutes old. 6.37 left in the third quarter. Had a couple big helmet-to-helmet penalties. Those are 15 yarders. That led to a Herculaneum touchdown. 36 to 16. Two touchdowns this quarter for Herculaneum, but Cardinal Ritter had one as well. They take the snap and the handoff right up the middle. This is Macklemore, and he picks up a good five. He got back to the original line of scrimmage. A good five-yard pickup by Jalen Macklemore. We're six minutes into the third quarter. I have that as only their second offensive play of the half. Well, yeah, they're, I mean, their touchdown was on their first play of the drive. This is true. Third down, excuse me, second down and 10 after the five-yard pickup, which was preceded by a five-yard penalty. It will be second down and 10 from their own 37. Cardinal Ritter with the ball leading by 20. And off up the middle, Herculaneum swarms. They push him backwards. And a good stop there by Herculaneum. Good job by the defensive tackle. I couldn't quite get his number. He shed that block off. Very well. He just he just reached out and pulled that blocker right off him onto the ground to shed the block. Stand the runner up. Next two players came in and brought him down to the ground. I believe it was 54. Cape Central leads Hillsborough 42 to 28 in the fourth quarter. Park Kill Central on top of Kennet. Kennet 28-14 in the third, and Valley Catholic leads Monroe 56 to 12 in the third quarter. It's 36-16 here in the third quarter. 5-17 left in the quarter. Cardinal Ritter on top and with the ball at their own 40-yard line, looking at a third down and seven. Best dropping back. No one is down. He throws it, and it's complete. And it is going to be a loss of yardage on the play. Terrell West with a completion, but it will be probably a loss of one. Devin foot all over the tackle, and it will bring up fourth down. Cardinal Ritter set up the middle screen very well. You hit your initial block, and then you let the defensive player go past you. Devin Foote didn't bite on it for a second. He jumped right into the middle of that mix and was there as soon as that ball got to the receiver to press that up. So Cardinal Ritter will come out and punt it away for the first time today. They have scored every – with here's the punt. It is away. It will bounce at the 30-yard line, take a Ritter bounce, and will roll down past the 20-yard line. Good punt here by Cardinal Ritter. That's their first punt. Every other result is – let resulted in touchdown. Their first possession of the game was the turnover on down. That's the only time they've had the ball and didn't score, except uh, up until now. That is quite the stat. Your first punt and your 421 left in the third quarter. Well, then again, they only ran four plays this half so far. 36 to 16, the lead for Cardinal Ritter. 421 left in the third quarter. Herculani will take over with the ball at their own 20 yard line. 421 left. First and 10 Black Hats. L.J. Nelson goes in motion, steps into the backfield. Venable will hand it off to Harper, and not much. Up the middle, pile move maybe two yards, but that's kind of what we saw in the first half. And Harper is doing much better here. Six carries, 67 yards here in the second half and a touchdown. He's sparking things and getting the, and leading the way here with Venable for Hercules. I'm going to try to get him back in this game. A gain of two on the game of one, second down and nine from the 21. Late substitution for Cardinal Ritter. They get a guy in right as the ball is being snapped, handoff up the middle to Harper, and nowhere to go. He might have got half a yard, but it'll bring up third down and 
once again, this is the Herculaneum that we saw, or maybe the Cardinal Ruger that we saw in the first half. Yeah, this is starting to resemble that first half. There's just not much room in there in between those guards and tackles. They're, they're clogging that middle up really well and trying to take that away. The misdirection is what's gotten in their yardage, even though it was in the middle of the field. Yeah, they were using that little read option, and it was working pretty well. Third down and eight for Herculaneum at their own 21. Venable barking out the signal, takes the snap, rolling to his right, gets a block. He throws it. It's going to be incomplete, out of bounds. He was looking for number 11, Brandon Smith, but he was a yard out of bounds when he even got a hand on it. That'll bring up fourth down and a quick three and out for Herculaneum. That would have been a very impressive uh, completion if he would have made that. He's got a player tracking him down. He can see him out of the corner of eyes. He's rolling to his left. He's a right-handed throw, and he threw that ball, and it just drifted right out of bounds. If he could have hit his receiver on that one, I would have been impressed. Clock right at three minutes left in the third quarter. Hurricane Lame getting ready to punt it away. Punt is away. It's a good one. Spiral punt. It will bounce and roll out of bounds. Actually, no, Hurricane Lane will feel it at the just past the 40-yard line to the 39. A good punt for... Herculaneum, but once again, a three and out. Brandon Smith has had long punts tonight, but he's been very effective. He's not really kicking the ball. He's punching it more, but he's punched it away from their receivers every time tonight, and he always goes to the left. That way his coverage knows exactly where it is, and he's aiming for that sideline. He doesn't want any kind of a return at all. Clock uh, did not snap on that. The extra time went off the clock there, so they'll have to reset this clock here. It will be 30, it is currently 36 to 16 with Cardinal Ritter on top. They will get the ball at their own 37. Three fifty-four will be left in this third quarter. 36 to 16 the lead. Two fifty four, excuse me. First and ten Cardinal Ritter. Ball at their own thirty seven up thirty six to sixteen. West under center. Ball's on the ground. No, I can't hark we go a little bit a little trick play, pretending like they fumbled it and that he more picks up a twenty yard carry. And Tristan Byers doesn't bring him down there. He's the last defender for Herculean. He gets a hold of him and bring him down. If you're wondering what that was, that was the high school version of the old fumble risky. Fumble risky, yeah. <laughs> Boy, I don't think we've seen that. Have we seen that since the 80s? I don't think so. They only used it once for a reason. Right. They only do it every once every 20 years. <laughs> and that was it. We won't see it until 2030. West in the, in the under center again, Herculaneum deep in out. Jared Joy run around the outside. Cardinal Ritter with a good pickup. About a 10 year pickup, and they go into Herculaneum territory. The ball was at the 47 of Herculaneum. And a nice pickup here for Cardinal Ritter. And once again, Herculaneum just cannot stop him. You know that fumble Ruski in a, in a misdirection offense this fast is almost unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they ruled them short of the first down, ruled them out of bounds at the 40-yard line. It will be a about an eight-yard pickup, and it will be second down and two. They line up west under center. It's been a, most of the day under center. Only gone into shotgun a couple times. They hit it off around the right side. The nice open field tackle by number 11, Brandon Smith. I think the runner, Naeem Moore, actually tackled him. They had a pickup, a first down pickup for Cardinal Ritter. Both of them were straight up on that. They came in. They went chest to chest on that. They more got the better of that one, but he still gets the tackle. Brandon Smith stopping it at an eight-yard carry. Good thing he does because there's about 20 yards of green after that. You're listening to KJFS. Best is Crystal City. Herculaneum DeSoto. I'm Tommy myself alongside Herc- uh, by Eric Overly. Here at Cardinal Ritter, now we get a flag on the play as Cardinal Ritter lines up. Is this potentially your third offside? Yes, it is. Third, third offside, offside on offsides. Cardinal Ritter. So that will back them up five yards. Jeff Ryder's back in our KJF studios. Matt Bear is running the camera on web TV.
First down and 15. This is the Class 2 District 2 Championship. And Cardinal Ritter on top of her Millennium 36 to 16. Other scores came Central leads Hillsborough 42 to 35. Hillsborough coming back. They trail by a touchdown down in the fourth quarter. You can watch that game on J98 Web TV. You run right up the middle. Now you more with a stiff arm. Now get shaken up. Still going. Now finally brought down. So two guys to take him down. But he picks up about a 20 yard pickup. And another Cardinal Ritter first down. That was a great run by Andy Moore there. He exploded through right up the center of the field for a misdirection from the left side. He looks back in that secondary, and he just starts picking people up with these fakes. Great feet. They finally got a couple of guys to get up on there and twist him down and bring him down on the ground. So it will be first down and 10 at about the 11 yard line for Cardinal Ritter. They put a man in motion. Now flags are on the play and they're going to whistle it dead. And another probably offensive penalty on Cardinal Ritter. Turkey Lane, when this gets back in this game, they're going to have to find an answer for Nee and Moore. He hurt him a lot in the first half. He's got four carries for 109 yards here in the second half. His first one was a 54-yarder for six points. Ah, the illegal procedure this time. It wasn't an offensive offsides. So another offensive penalty for Cardinal Ritter. Have we, uh, we've probably lost track of those, haven't we? First down and 15. With 29 seconds left, the clock tipping, they'll probably have time for maybe one play. West under center, man in motion. Hand off right up the middle, pushing the pile, and a nice run right up the middle. Clock will continue rolling. That will probably do it for the third quarter. That's about a eight-yard pickup for... Cardinal Ritter, and that will do it for the third quarter. 36-16 the lead for Cardinal Ritter as we go to the fourth and final quarter after this break. You're listening to High School Football and KJFF. left in this Class 2 District 2 championship game between Cardinal Ritter and Herculaneum. Cardinal Ritter, the Lions lead it 36-16 with one and a quarter left, and Cardinal Ritter driving and in danger of putting some more points on the board. With only 12 minutes left, this could definitely hurt Herculean. They had some nice momentum to come out to start the second half, but down by 20, this could seal it right here. It's a three-possession game right now with Ritter up 36-16. It's in a man in motion west. Pitches it back and it immediately dropped. Great job by Herculaneum to get through the line. Number 34, Sawyer Wolfgang broke through and brought down the ball carrier about six yards behind the line of scrimmage. It's the first time we've said Sawyer's name tonight. He was actually tied up with a man on the block. Shed that block to the last second and the runner was right there. And he made a good tackle in the open field. So that will push it back to the original line of scrimmage, and it will be third down and 10 from about the 12-yard line. Herculaneum packing the box. is kind of disguising their defense a little bit. Handoff right up the middle. Nowhere to go for Naeem Moore. He'll pick up a couple. So that will bring up a fourth down and about seven, and you would assume Cardinal Ritter will go for it here. Deep in Herculaneum territory. On the 10 yard line, why wouldn't you? At the worst, you turn the ball over, you're going to give it to them on an 8, 9 yard line. You're up by 20. They got a long way to go to try to get that first score. Get it back in it. Terrell West runs in with the play call from the Cardinal Rooters sideline. Ball is right, as you mentioned, right at the 10 yard line. Fourth down and about 8 to go. 10 40 and counting left in the game. West surveying the defense, goes under center. Now they stand up, and a delay of game on Cardinal Ritter. That did take a while to develop, so that will back Herculaneum up five yards. Excuse me, Cardinal Ritter back up five yards, and that will bring make it a fourth down and 12. And another penalty on Cardinal Ritter. Six penalty in the second half, 50 yards. And that's just this half. So now they run to the sideline again. 36-16, Cardinal Ryder trying to make it a four-score game. 
looking at a fourth down and 12 from their own, from the Herculaneum 14 yard line. One receiver left, tight formation here. Now they've got two safeties back deep for Herculaneum, expecting a pass. They hand it off. This is more around the right side. Spin move, hit and drop. Nico Brown came and met him after he spun away from one tackler. And he's going to be just shy of the first down marker. And that will be a turnover on downs for Cardinal Ritter. It was a great spin move to miss that first tackler, but Nico Brown was not having anything of that first down and just delivered a booming hit out there to bring him down. So Eric Lenny will get the ball back after the turnover on downs. This is now two straight uh, possessions by Cardinal Ritter where they have not scored. They've only had three possessions where they haven't scored. Now a tight formation for Herculaneum, and they run it right up the middle. This is number 11, Brandon Smith, with the carry, and he won't pick up much. Uh, kind of a, a new look there for Herculaneum, trying to confuse him a little bit. Change the things up a little bit. It looks like they're going to... Well, they gave him about five on that. Second down and six for Herculaneum. It looks like kind of a goal line formation here. No wide receivers out. They hand it off right up the middle, and they push the pile, and they'll pick up maybe two on the play. New formation here for Herculaneum that we have not seen. Looks like they're trying to draw them in. I wonder which coach Cooks has his up his sleeve here, because they picked up about three more on that. Now it's a third down and three for Herculaneum with 9.35 and counting left in the game. Another goal line formation here. Venable will take it himself. He'll push the pile forward, and I don't think he got it. Looks like they're only giving him about one on that carry. Boy, interesting play call. Just trying to mix it up for Herculaneum. They move the ball, but they're still going to be shy of the first down by about two yards. Fourth down. That's probably the first time I've ever seen that. Something different. Hey, I guess if you're Herculaneum, you're down by three scores with nine minutes deep in your own territory. You'll try anything, I guess. You just got to get some offense going. Looks like they're going to go for it here on fourth down and two. Well, down by 20 with only 8.50 left. He doesn't have a lot of choice. That's true. Then a little under center. They will go right to the outside. He picks up a first down and a little bit more. That was Blake He went through and tackled. He's off to the races at the 50. He pushed down from behind. Cuts towards the middle. They'll chase him down from behind. But a huge play on fourth down. And Timmy Venable takes it inside the 10. And now he's slow to get off, and they're waving the trainers onto the field. Richard Baker with the tackle for Cardinal Ritter, and whoever that was for Rocky Lady quickly, quickly waved the trainers and the coaches back on the field, and now Timmy Venable is down. Wow. He got just enough out of that option play that he had the first down. He was about three or four yards, and he had about three guys that had a hold of him, and he just popped up and absolutely took off. Eric Bryce had a shot at him, and then he cut back to the left, and that's when number four, Richard Baker, brought him down. Now, clearly something has happened on the tackle. Yeah, this does not look good. His helmet is off, and one of the other Herculean players, I believe that's Tristan Byers, he was very, very demonstrative in waving the uh, coaching staff and the trainers out onto the field. I mean, it, it wasn't just a, hey, come out here. It was as soon as he went down, they were waving him over. And the referee was right there with the play, and he was waving them on, too. Something. He kind of got dragged down from behind. You wonder if maybe it's a, a, a leg or, or something, but obviously it's something. A lot visual. of times you don't get a leg injury when you get dragged down from behind. A lot of times they get a hold of your arms, and they get your arms tucked up underneath you. You come down, like, right on your elbow or a wrist or something like that. Well, this is good news. He is up and walking. Wow. He's up and walking off the field under his own power. He just ran 70 yards in the fourth quarter. The game's tired. He's been holding off for a while. That's probably what it was. <laughs> he had that. He's telling, he was telling another player, hey, wave him over. From, make it look like I'm hurt. Or yeah, something. I, 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 I know that Jim Brown move. Make it look like you're hurt. Yeah, just bring it up. Tell him to bring the oxygen, man. I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I just need one plate to sit on the bench. I need some water. So first down and goal for Herculaneum. And so they were running on new quarterback for Herculaneum. 
They run it to the right side. All kinds of room over there. Go up to the 10 yard line. I still haven't caught the number as dudes that was. That's, yeah, out. that's Matt Lodak. That's the backup quarterback. And that's now he's running off and Venable's running back gone. I told you, Matt just needs some water. One time off, that's all. There you go. He's a tough kid. Tim Venable is back in after on fourth and two, deep in their own territory, taking it all the way to the length of the field inside the 10. It's now second and goal from the eight. And off the hardware, he is hit immediately. I think the ball might have popped loose. They're reacting like the, I the think ball came loose. jumped on that after the ball came loose. That was that read option again, but unfortunately when four players get three yards deep in the secondary, there's no read, there's no option. It's just tactical and holding on the ball. So that will be a loss of about three yards. It will make it third down and goal from the 13. Play is in third down and goal, 7-14. Herculaneum running out of time here, down three scores. Now they do this tight formation again. Venable under center. They fake the handoff. Venable to take it himself. Cardinal Ritter didn't bite. He's going to be dropped for a big loss, and that'll bring up a fourth down and even longer. Take the handoff to Nico Brown. Venable was trying to take it himself, and Cardinal Ritter didn't bite. That's the real danger when you're running that option or even a you know a fake like that up the middle when the guy comes from the backside. Herculean is very fortunate there that that ball didn't get knocked loose because. You don't have complete control, but you're holding with your hands while you're faking those handoffs. That ball can come out very easily when those players come up the backside and take you down. Rick and Lenny has to go for here. Fourth down and goal from the 15. Now a spread formation. Venable, the lone man in the backfield. He's going to drop back to pass, going to take it himself. Now he'll throw it, and it is caught in the end for a touchdown. Oh, what a play by Rick and Venable escapes the pressure, and he throws the touchdown. And Herculaneum gets back on the board. That was a little foot pass again, and I think he threw that. He just kind of—he did a great job of avoiding the pressure. I think it was Jesse Odell, like the smallest player in the field. He just did a little foot pass over the defender to Odell for about a ten-yard for a twelve-yard reception and a touchdown. Well, hey, this game isn't over yet. At a 36-22 lead for Cardinal Ritter, Herculaneum in the shotgun, going lining up to go for two. Man in motion is L.J. Nelson. They hand it off. This is Harper nowhere to go, and he is dropped immediately. 36-22, we go to a minute break. You're listening to High School Football on KJFF. Where you always get a sweet deal. Hey! We have the Ford truck you've been looking for at Ruther Ford. Hi, this is Doug Jr. Let's start with our new 2015 Ford Super Duties with up to 4000 in total rebates and the best selection in Jefferson and surrounding counties to choose from. Or at Ruther's, check out our remaining selection of new 2014 F-150s with up to 57.50 in rebates. As well, the remaining 2014 Expeditions have 0% for 72 months or a total of 6,000 in rebates. At Ruther Ford, we have your next new Ford truck and at the best bottom line price anywhere. And be sure to ask about our special 100% down, no payments for life offer at Ruther Ford. Get a sweet deal today, Ruther Ford, off I-55 at the Herculaneum Auto Mall engine. The game, Herculaneum trying to pull off an amazing comeback. They trail it 36 to 22 with 6:17 left. They converted an onside kick earlier, and you would imagine they would do the same thing here. Down two scores with 6:17 left, they will uh, try it. A high over Cardinal Ritter's head, and they I think Cardinal Ritter recovered it. Number 72, Orlando Merriweather recovered it cleanly, and so. Cardinal Ritter will just try and hold on to the football here. Orlando saw the pressure coming, got both hands on that ball and ducked down, took a shot for his effort. But now Cardinal Ritter's got the ball. That's exactly what the big man needed to do. So Cardinal Ritter will get it first and 10 with 6.14 left in the game. And now they'll probably just keep it on the ground and try and run out the clock here. West under center. He takes a snap. 
Hands it off to McLemore on the outside. Huge hole, ducks his head, picks up a first down and into Herculaneum territory. Number seven, Jalen McLemore with a huge in around. He does a very good job of getting to that edge. Once he gets that edge, he turns those shoulders up, and he runs a lot like a Jerome Bettis or one of those guys. After they see the defender coming, they want to punish you, and he puts those shoulder pads down low and just clocks you when you try to tackle him. Kind of litter. Up 36, 22, six minutes left, and driving here. And once again, the circle defense needs to come up with a stop. At this point, you really need a turnover now. We have not had a turnover in this game. Best will run it all the way down. And it off to McLemore again on the end of route. With room, and he picks up a good gain. That'll be shy of the first down, but a big pickup by McLemore again on this near side. Good pursuit by the Herculean linebackers on that play. But McLemore did an exceptional job there. He looked over, he ran out of room, he turned immediately back upside, inside so that he stayed inbounds to keep that clock running. That's just great heads up running there by Michael Moore. Second down and four. At the Herculaneum 36, five minutes left. And once again, Cardinal Ritter will take this all the way down. They don't have a play clock on the field, so we have to look at the deep back judge. He'll count it off. With three seconds left, he'll take it. And off right at the middle. Cuts to the outside, a nice pickup. And it will be close to the first down. And off was to Melvin Higgins. And I think they're going to spot him a little short. Herculean got really good penetration there. And when the ball was handed off, the running back actually ran right into the back of his blocker and bounced off of it, still managed to pick up the three and keep it in balance before he went down. Herculean uses their first timeout, 36-22, 4.47 left. Herculean calls the timeout to stop the clock. We'll take the timeout as well. You're listening to High School Football on KJFS. Six ninety nine. It's fall clearance time at Midwest Sports Center, Highway 67, Farmington. On the road, off the road, or on the water, the ultimate outdoor toy store has it. Midwest Sports Center, no bull, just great savings. They're driving, third down and one at the Herculaneum 36. Wes under center, sends the man in motion. They hand it off right at the middle, breaks through. Higgins to the 20, he is tripped up and brought down a first down to the 15-yard line. Melvin Higgins with a big run right at the middle. And the Herculean timeout didn't really work if they were setting up the defense. And Cardinal Ritter calls on the ball, and they'll continue to run the clock off. They might be able to get a score here. I think Brandon Smith finally got a hold of his right leg to trip him up and bring him down. If he doesn't make that... That was just a flat-out hard run right up the middle. He's going in for six if he doesn't get that right leg. 432 and counting. Wes will look at the back judge who will count off the play clock. There is he puts the hand up in the air. Five, four, three. They'll hand it off. They'll snap it. This is McLemore again to the outside. Runs over to defender past the 10. Another good run by McLemore. And Herculaneum has not figured out that uh, near side sweep. No, Cardinal Ritter's found something they like on their left side of their offense because they just keep going back over there and going back over there. And the Cardinal Ritter running backs, give them credit. They're doing a great job of keeping it in bounds so that that clock just continues to run. Very smart heads up running by the backs. Yeah, don't get uh, don't get greedy and try to pick up more yardage. Just get down. Take your five and six and get on the ground. But you get tackled, keep the clock moving. 3.40 and counting. They'll run this all the way down. West under center, man in motion. And he takes the snap, hands it off. This is Hagens again to the outside. Bull dosing forward. I think he picked up a first down. A good, strong run by Melvin Hagens. 5'9", 235-pound junior. He just runs right over people. God is just a big young man coming down there, just leveling people as he comes through. They're not moving the sticks yet. Is something 
Am I missing something? Uh, they're just, uh, I think they're marking them about a yard short. Ball's right at the five yard line. Need to get to the four, basically. So it will be third down. Be third down and one for Cardinal Ritter with three minutes left. Hercule has used one timeout. Cardinal Ritter perfectly content to just let this clock run on out. They're taking it all the way down to the last second on the play clock. Higgins, nowhere to go. He has dropped, and we get a flag as the play is coming to an end. It's thrown by the back judge. What do we have here? It will be a hold on Cardinal Ritter. Another penalty for Cardinal Ritter. They were playing pretty clean there for a while. But another second-half penalty for the Lions. They'll mark off 10 yards from the spot. It will be fourth. It will be third down again. Seven and a whole lot of penalty yardage here in the second half. Two 15-yarders, four or five-yarders, a 10-yarder right here. Unfortunately for Herculeum, I think Cardinal River may have accomplished what they wanted it to. They ate up a lot of this clock. The ball is very deep in Herculeum territory. And they've got third down, two more players to take even more time off this clock. Third down and nine for Cardinal Ritter from the 15. West going to take it all the way down like he has been doing. Clock is rolling, 233 and counting. Back judge, we'll count it off, five, four. Now Herculaneum shifts their defense, take the snap. This is Naeem Moore up the middle, and he pushes it forward, and he's going to be, I think, where well, they're spotting him. He picked up a first down. Huge run on third down and picks up a 10-yard pickup to pick up a first down. And a very timely run for Cardinal Ritter and Naeem Moore. Six carry, 125 yards just here in the second half alone. And it looks like they're going to mark them for first down territory, and that could be the yeah, evening. They, the officials are bringing out the chains to call an official timeout. Looking at some of the scores from around the area on some of our other regional radio games, Valley Catholic defeats Monroe 56-18. to 18. That's the final. Park Hill Central leads Kenneth 41-14. And a close one in Cave Central. Cave Central leads it 42-35 over Hillsborough in the fourth. Hillsborough was once trailing 42-28, to 28, but they've got two late touchdowns to make it. they got a touchdown to make it close. And Cardinal Raider is going to be just shy of the first down, so this will bring up fourth down at about a foot. And when they mark it, they will run the clock. Two eighteen left in the game. A 36-22 lead for Cardinal Ritter with the Lions driving. They wind the clock, and they will take all kinds of time. They'll just... Wes is standing behind the center looking at the back judge. She was keeping track of the play clock. There's not a play clock visible here. And with two minutes to play, they're just standing there letting the clock wind on down. There, that hand goes up. That's with five seconds left. They count it off. Man in motion. West takes his snap. Hand off. Higgins again falls forward. I think he picked up a first down. Didn't need much. And he does. Needed about a foot. He picked up two yards. The big man putting the end of the game right there. Put that first down. Got him the first down right there. They're on the four-yard line. They can run the clock out now. I'm sure Herculaneum, they've got two timeouts left. I'll be curious to see if Coach Cook use them down by 14 at this point. And there is that first one called by Herculaneum. They call their first timeout, and we will send it back to our KGF Studios for a quick 30-second timeout as well. We'll be back in 30. You're listening to High School Football on KJFF. Tom Tree is now accepting medical and dental patients at our new facility in Hillsboro. Hi, this is Tracy Wicking. We accept most private insurances as well as Medicaid or Medicare. Those with no insurance may qualify for a sliding fee discount. Call us at 636-481-6040 for more information or to schedule an appointment at our new facility in Hillsboro. We want to be your health care home. 636-481-6040 or check us out online at comtree.org. Comtree Health happens here.
put it up 20 with 137 left. Cardinal Ritter will attempt the extra point. But, uh, Eric, we welcome those, our, our J98 listeners in, and it has been all Cardinal Ritter from uh, the very beginning. It really has. The misdirection offense, it's a lot different than anything I've ever seen. They run it so fast and so well, and the exchanges are just incredibly clean. It's hard to keep track of sitting up here in the booth. I'm sure it's given team spirits this year. Cardinal Ritter will go for two. They line up. Hagans with the carry goes to the outside, and he walks in. Doesn't he, he wasn't even touched. 44 to 22. We'll take a minute time out. You're listening to high school football on regional radio. If you're in need of criminal defense or personal injury representation, call the Lowry Law Firm. Hi, this is Mike Lowry. We are an aggressive Jefferson County law firm handling criminal, injury, and domestic cases. When you have a great deal or even a little at stake, trust us, the Lowry Law Firm in Hillsboro and Festus. We have earned a reputation for integrity and are respected members of the legal and civic communities. We are the Lowry Law Firm. Look us up on the web at thelowrylawfirm.com. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision. It should not be based solely upon advertisement. At First State Community Bank, we understand that quick and easy access to your money is important. That's why when you open an account at a convenient FSCB location, you'll walk away with a debt card that's ready to use. And you can even use that card at over 23,000 ATMs nationwide with the MoneyPass ATM network. Visit us at First State Community Bank today and get quick and easy access to your money. First State Community Bank. Success starts here. Member FDIC online at FSCB.com. One thirty-seven left in the game. Cardinal Ritter has doubled up Herculaneum tonight, leading forty-four to twenty-two with ninety-seven seconds. Well, thank you for listening to high school football today on Regional Radio. Herculaneum trying to come from behind, but their comeback will probably fall short here. Got a score of flurry of touchdowns in the third quarter. It is a short kick like they've been doing all night. Herculaneum will field it. Number 34, Sawyer Wilfog will take it at the 30-yard line. He will be run out of bounds and go east to west. And so that is well. Herculaneum will start at first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Well, we can. I think it's probably safe to, to wrap up the season now here for, for Herculaneum. I mean, they're down They're down three scores with 91 seconds left to be be a, be a heck of a, a comeback if they did, but it's a great job by Herculaneum this season. To, I mean, this is the place they haven't been since 20, 2010. It's uh, it, it's been a certain a nice kind of a breakout year for Herculaneum. It really has. Last year was a very up and down season. We saw them several times. They really progressed this year and done quite well. Things. It was a lot of fun watching them this year. They were, you know, the comeback kids. And it's unfortunate to see their season come to end. But a lot of credit to the kids from Cardinal Ritter. They did a phenomenal job in this game, and best of luck to them the rest of the way through. Matt Lodike is in a quarterback now for Herculaneum, so it looks like the night is done for Timmy Venable, and the junior. Had a very nice season, so here is Matt Lodike, a 5'11", 140-pound senior. He will come in and try to finish this off. First play was an incomplete pass as it was batted down by Cardinal Ritter. So we will come out with the clock. It's not with 128 left in the game. Make sure you stick around after this game on Regional Radio. We'll have the Parkland Health Mart Pharmacy End Zone Show and wrap up all four of our games here on Regional Radio. Here's a handoff to Nico Brown, and he goes nowhere. The pile stuffs him up, and really that's been kind of the case tonight for Herculaneum. They've been trying to run it right up the middle, and there's just been no room up the gut. It really has. And Cardinal Ritter did a good job of taking away every lane in the middle, with the exception of a couple of misdirection plays that they would spring by. They just couldn't get past that first line of defense. Very stout. When they did get past it, they did well, but it just didn't happen off enough for Herculaneum tonight. They'll let the clock run here. Not bother uh, Herculaneum has two tight ends stuff, but they're not going to use them. 50 seconds and counting. Lodi in the shotgun. He will take the snap and, and uh, take the hit off. He'll take it himself. He has dropped it hit hard. He kind of got spun around a little bit. And he will be dropped for a big loss with 35 seconds left. That will bring up fourth down. And they can either punch here or run it, but with 27 seconds left, I think they will probably do it. They might not have to snap it again. We don't. There's not a play clock visual here. So with 19, I think they just got to just kind of keep his hand down, let the clock run out. 
because game is clearly over. That will do it. 44 to 22, the final Herculaneum ends their season. They finish with a record of 8 and 4 and lose here to Cardinal Ritter tonight in the district championship game. Coming up next, it's the Parkland Health Mods Pharmacy. Well, now wait a minute. Delay of game. They're still on a delay of game. Penalty on Herculaneum with 0.3 seconds left on the clock. We're just going to go ahead and end it there and send it to our Parkland Health Mods Pharmacy end zone show. Thank you for listening. See you tonight by High School Football on Regional Radio. Coming up next, the Parkland Health Bar Pharmacy End Zone Show on Regional Radio.